Do you have a joke folder? Well, you have rejected. I want to talk about rejected jokes for a minute. So that's your. By the way, I do have. You asked an incredible question, Rob. Wait a second. You. I'm going to get something. Can you stall for seven seconds? Yeah, we absolutely. We can cut this okay. whole thing out. Watch this. And we've cut out, and we're about to come back, and we are back. Nope, no, we're not going to. We're going to be back. By the way, is it, it, have I had too much coffee today? I think I'm very lit up, like a fucking. I couldn't marvel. hear what you're saying, but I'm sure it was amazing. Yeah, don't worry, it wasn't good. <laughs> All right, so I have something that I haven't taken down from the. I have like a ledge with like all fun like props and books and stuff like that. But so I wrote for Letterman. Oh, look at that. That's a big, that's the biggest binder I've ever seen. So this is every page of this is uh, 10 to 15 jokes. Now, wait, are those jokes all that all made it on the air or just everything I'll say out of all of these and I have them by, so I'll say the first third are Letterman. Then the next are Saturday Night Live. I, but this is, I wasn't a staff writer because I couldn't get a staff writer job. So I was freelance. So I would have to ri- write the jokes by yes. like 6.30 a.m., print them out, put them in a fax machine, fax them to Letterman or SNL, and then you only get paid if they get on the air. And you would get paid, for me, it was $75 a joke for Letterman and $100 a joke for Weekend Update. Um, so that's So that's it. And basically what would happen is I got 21 jokes on Letterman and only two jokes on Weekend Update. But the ones on Letterman, I was working as a page at the time. So I'm inside. So every time he went on stage, I would have no idea if he's going to use a joke or not. And I was a page watching. And uh, when he was done, he would go like this. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. And then, you know, the monologue was over. There's literally an episode where you can hear me in the background say, fuck, because he didn't use any of my jokes for like the 20th straight day. And I got yelled at by uh, my boss being like, you can't, you cannot do that. You cannot yell. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so I have, uh, and I never thought to keep them, but my dad, um, after I faxed them, I would fax them to my dad, because I was like, nobody's seeing these jokes. So the first one started June 2004, and then the last joke I wrote was uh, November 2006. Do you remember your first joke that got used? I don't. Isn't that terrible? But you give me a date, give me a month and a date, and I'll pick yeah, one joke. But by the way, just- I'm sure some of these are not past the Pete like no, no, yeah I understand you, there's no reason to, we, we, to lower our expectations <laughs> my our expectations are really low um get, give me pick pick a random joke this is amazing that you have pick any like month that. so pick any month in a year give me like, March 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 any year you want but I want March okay here we go March that's what I want okay so this is remember this is March 2000 oh my god what if it's a joke making fun of you that would be nothing would make me happy what were you doing in 2005 you wrote jokes making fun of me? Oh my God. If you were in the, anything that was in the news that I thought a 75 year old man would make fun of because it's, it's Letterman, I would um, do. What were you doing? And do you remember what you're doing in that year? 2005. Um, I, had, I had just left. I, had, I probably had had a failed TV show called Dr. Vegas. But if you didn't write a joke on that, then you were not, <laughs> you were, you were not paying attention. I was doing The Christmas Blessing, my producers are reminding me, which is a. I'm just going to say, as, as, as cringy as that sounds, was a follow-up to the biggest Christmas movie ever made at that time called The Christmas Shoes. Kiss Christmas Jews? No, that would have been good. <laughs> Directed by Gary Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a real cheesy one. Ready? Uh, it is so cold outside that Jose Canseco injected his heater with steroids to stay warm. You get what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, some of them are really funny. Some of them are not great. Come on. You're killing me. Uh, no one cares what we say. No one listens to this podcast. You can say whatever you want. Oh, here. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger won re-election, giving him his first full term in office since 2003 recall victory. It seems that California believes the longer Schwarzenegger is in power, the safer they will be from robot attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm trying my goddamn best here. It's the, <laughs> so great. Um, what if... Letterman had used a joke. If Letterman used a joke, I would smile. I would be so excited. I would find out by receiving a check. But what I also found out is back in the day that, you know, a story would come out and everybody kind of knows what he's going to make fun of. So anybody else writing could write the same joke. So I'll get a joke that sounded just like mine, but I wouldn't get paid for it because someone else had it as well. So, but that was like, it was just a matter of trying to sell enough jokes to pay for the landline and the fax machine. 
and it wasn't like I didn't make money. It was just, and then I, I remember I, uh, I was doing it for like six months before I got a joke on, and I refused to put it in my like resume that I was a joke writer there until I got paid for it. And then I was like, okay, I'm a freelance writer. I've gotten a joke on and stuff like that. I just love the the notion of you and your page outfit. Letterman tells a joke, and you just turn to some audience and go, huh, I wrote that. <laughs> Literally, the person that tells them where to go to the bathroom, but they have to get up and they have to go to the bathroom like this way. Also, I wrote that joke. Get out of here, you psycho. Who are you? <laughs>